I think Tennessee is copying Clemson. The Clemson Tigers' reign as a top team in college football has more than been studied by now. It's just the fact that many teams have not been able to do what Clemson did. Clemson built championship winning teams almost by solely having just the best quarterback in all of college football year after year after year. It's a pretty simple plan. The reason this is so difficult to replicate is because not only do you have to absolutely hit on your recruiting game, but you also need to be able to develop those quarterbacks as well. Well, Tennessee's looking like they might be trying to start their own version of that. When the Vols got Virginia Tech transfer Hendon Hooker to their squad, it absolutely catapulted them to having one of the most explosive offenses in all of college football. They then went ahead and recruited five-star quarterback Nico I am Aliyava, who looks to be all the promise that Hendon Hooker was and more. And now Tennessee just went and landed the number one quarterback and the number one player in the class of 2026. The Vols are shaping up to have dominant quarterback play year in and year out for close to a decade now. But with that being said, let me introduce you guys to the Tennessee Volunteers' newest five-star quarterback commit, Faison Brandon, coming out of Grimsley High School in Greensboro, North Carolina. He is a six foot three and a half, 197 pound, five-star quarterback who is the number one player in North Carolina, the number one quarterback in the country, and the number one player in the class of 2026. So all my volunteer friends, let me show you the future of Tennessee football. Leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn your notifications so you never miss any of the fire videos that we're dropping. With that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the future of Tennessee football and Faison Brandon. Three, two, one. All right, let's take a look at this kid's highlight tape. I've seen a little bit of it. He came out of what looked like nowhere. And I mean, just look at the ball placement on this throw. It's nasty. Cause you really gotta trust this pass. Cause this corner, he did a great job of playing both of these under and over top routes. He just puts it only where his wide receiver can make a play on it. But like I was saying, Faison on Brandon came out of absolutely nowhere. On most re recruiting sites, he's still a, uh, you know, a high tier four star recruit. But before even that, he was like a top 100 player in his class. And then 24 seven sports just came out and just put him as their number one player in the class of 2026. Like, and I was like, wait, wait, like they, they didn't jump him to a five star. They didn't have him be a top 10. No, literally he went from being a four star recruit to the number one player in the country. What seemed like overnight. So, I mean, this kid, he's got a lot of intangibles. I believe it's on this play. You get to see the, one of the biggest reasons why he's a five-star recruit. Look at the wheels. Look at him get up and go. This kid's kind of, he's so fast. And remember, this is a sophomore that you're watching right now. He still has his whole junior and senior year to develop, get his throwing motion more fluid, and just get bigger, stronger, and faster. I mean, the kid's already 6'3 and a half, 200 pounds. Like, he doesn't need to get that much bigger. But this kid, he is so fast great arm angles being able to just fl the ball flies out of his hands a little bit differently than everybody else's yeah he's got a rifle cannon for his arm Yeah, the only thing that I want to, there's a couple of things I want to see him work on. I want to see him work on his footwork. I feel like sometimes his footwork is the thing that gets him in trouble with the inconsistencies in his, not only his throwing motion, but his accuracy. If he's really able to get that footwork down, but also be that fast, that's where it's like, oh, okay, yeah, he could definitely turn out to be a top tier guy. I would have him ranked as a five star recruit off of just the pure upside alone do i think he's like as polished of a recruit as like a trevor lawrence was as the number one quarterback in the country no but trevor lawrence also wasn't running a four five or whatever this kid's running like he definitely he's definitely somewhere in the low four fives maybe even a high four four guy as a sophomore like he can get up and absolutely fly and psh, ankles thank you if he could turn into what a Lamar Jackson is for the Baltimore Ravens, I could totally see this. See why this guy has so much upside. I think this is also a guy that Tennessee's going to need to build an offensive system around. I don't think that he's going to be able to just throw it 40, 50 times like a Hendon Hooker did in college. I think he's going to be a 25 to 30 throw a, attempt guy who also can go out there and get you 60 to 100 yards rushing a game. Like that's the type of player that I see Faison Brandon being. 
so that is what the hope and future of Tennessee football is looking like on the field in Faison Brandon. Like I said, I really enjoy watching this kid's highlight tape. For me personally, if I was like a team recruiting players, I like to recruit not based off of more of like what I see right now. I just like to see the fundamentals that are learned right now. Like if he was like if his footwork was a little bit more polished, again, I know that we're talking about a sophomore, but also kids have quarterback coaches like in sixth grade now. So it's not uncommon or it's not unreasonable to ask for like a little bit more polished on, on his footwork, a little bit more polished on his throwing motion because Whenever players start to get these really high rankings and there's still some things like mechanically that I want to see fixed, sometimes it's a little bit hard to get out of that because they're always going to naturally lean back to what got them as a four and five star recruit. I definitely see so much upside with phase on Brandon though. I just think his throwing mechanics need to be just smoothed out a little bit and then just continue to learn the game of football because i mean again we're talking about a sophomore here like he has so much time to develop stronger faster in the film room being able to dissect defenses being able to make reads quicker that's where i really see him excelling is just being able to see everything that he's seeing on the field and the faster he's able to break it down the quicker he's able to either get up and go and get a positive gain or he's going to be able to you know find the right to buy receiver you know make a nice little completion but overall He's going to be dominant for Tennessee regardless. So all my Vol fans, leave this video a like and comment your thoughts down below on your new number one player in the country, Faison Brandon. And hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you never miss any of the fire videos that we're dropping on the channel. I love and appreciate all y'all. If nobody's told you this today, you are absolutely amazing. You are a superstar. Go out there and make yourself 1% better, whether that's if you're at work, just put in a little bit, just put in 1% more work. If you're getting ready for this upcoming football season, go out there run a little bit more than you used to oh i don't run at all cool just go literally run down your street and back not sprint just run i'm trying to build stamina up here you know if you're already in the middle of your off-season training just continue to train but one percent better everyone always says that one percent better thing it really does make a difference like uh, hopefully hopefully after hearing me say it, it clicks a little bit differently People don't say these things just to say them. Like it really does compound. If you try and get better, 1% better every single day, you will look up and see that you are in a much better place than you ever were. Also, if right now you just feel like there's no way that you can get out of where you're at, know that you can always call upon Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the beautiful thing is, is that when you call, he's right there. Why? Because he never left your side. Whether you've cursed him, whether you've accepted him fully, whether you would never acknowledged him, whatever it is, Jesus Christ has never left any of our sides. It's just we choose to live our own lives without him, but the only thing that he would love is for us to live our lives with him. Know that you can always call upon Jesus. He is the way maker, the miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, that's the song lyrics, but like he really is all of those things. Know that you can always call upon Jesus. I love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.